Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Leo love prediction reading for May 27th through June 2nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, fun, kind, sweet, loving Leo. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Leo? Show me. What's going on, my loving Leo? Let's see, Leos. What you got going on? Show me, spirit guys. Show me. Two of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. First of all, I'm going to say I think I'm reading for a man. I think this is a man. And I think that whoever you, whoo, whoever this is, whoever this is, she she's everything to you. Because he, the Two of Swords is, is indecisiveness. The Two of Swords is leads your reading, which means that it's like whenever, she come, whenever you see her, you don't know what to say, how to say it. Because let me tell you why I say this. The Page of Swords is right here. You don't know how to communicate to this woman because it is something about her. It's almost like she makes you tongue-tied and you you know what i'm saying she gives you butterflies in your stomach every time that you want to communicate with her but you don't know how to communicate with her you want to communicate with this woman however you know this is not the typical woman that you're used to dealing with and let me tell you why the eight of pentacles is in the middle of your reading either you met this woman at work or this is a woman that you know from work or and i strongly believe you know that this is not going to be the typical type relationship. This is someone that is different than what you normally have. And when I say different, someone that is not, not so much different as far as looks or anything like that. Uh, but she's different because you know you have to work to get her and to keep her. She doesn't fall for anything. She's a different kind of woman. And you really, really don't know what to say. All you know is that every time you see her, you want to talk to her, you want to say something to her, or you, you want to build a relationship with her. But if somehow I see that you just, somehow you just get stuck. You don't know what to say. You feel like, duh. You know, I'm just saying. It's one of those kind of situations. You just don't know what to say. This is a woman, like I said, that you have to work for. This is not an easy woman. I'm not saying, um, she's just not easy. She's just not easy. You know that you have to work for this woman. And I see the three of pentacles is here. You know that if you get with this woman, there is unlimited potential with her, you and her, because the three of pentacles is about teamwork. It's about being together, about building a team together. And next to this three of pentacles is the high priestess. It's the high priestess. And for this, the high priestess here, it's like, um, you know that, first of all, the high priestess is a very feminine woman. She um, she has unlimited potential. She can also be like a secret, you know? And the reason I say a secret, she doesn't know that she does this to you, whomever you are. She doesn't understand her femininity and what she brings to you. She just does not understand. This is a secret that you're hiding. But this woman, this woman you want to be with this woman is a woman that would take your your um would take you to the next level this is a woman that you want to be with and you know that she'll take you to a, the next level but it's still it's like a secret it's a secret and, and the high priestess sometimes can mean the other woman but i i don't i don't see it with this I, it's the it's a secret woman it's a secret and one of, the reason i say it's a secret because no one else knows how you feel she doesn't have a clue that you feel that way. But she has, with her, you know that your life is unlimited potential. With her, you know that you can go to the next level. With her, you know you have to stand up, though. You got to stand up to the plate. She is not your typical woman. 
Give me three to five minutes and, uh, and let me see, Leo, what additional information the spirit guides want to tell you about this one. I'm going to clarify the reading. What additional information do the spirit guides want you to know about this woman? Show me spirit guides. Why is the two of swords here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the two of swords here for my Leo? Show me spirit guides. Why is the two of swords here for my Leos? Look, that two of cups, that two of cups, you know, this woman is every. When I say the two of cups, you feel like there's unity here. You feel like that you guys, if you do make the decision to speak or to talk to her or to move forward with her or to be able to form some type of relationship with her, um, if you can ever get out of your nerves and get into making these conversations and talking to her, then you know that this is your, this is someone that has unlimited potential, like I told you. But also there's love here. You are you're already in love with someone. It's almost like love at first sight. Now that's just what I see. But you're you're even more you're in love with someone that does not know. There's a secret. You've I, I don't even think you've formed a relationship with this woman yet. But this woman with that two of cups there means that this is um someone that you feel like you're on the same page with. Someone that you feel like you would you know, you, you guys would be in love for a lifetime with. So let's see why the Page of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Page of Swords here for my Leo? Show me. Oh, look at the Hermit card. Can Hermit card can represent a Virgo sun sign, but the Hermit card is looking within, is gaining wisdom, knowledge. How do I speak to this woman? What do I do? How do I get this woman? That's what that Hermit card is saying. You're looking for the light. You're going within, going within because you know this is not this is not your typical woman. This is not the typical woman that you've been dealing with. This is, could be the one. So let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Show me. Oh, my. She's giving you the blues, right? Look at that Nine of Swords. That Nine of Swords means you can't sleep, you can't eat, because you know what? Not, not, and, and when I say the Nine of Swords, you feel like this is just an, a never-ending bad dream for you, because first and foremost... You're, I see you being just a little bit afraid of, of this woman, intimidated, let's say intimidated by this woman. And it's keeping you, um, because you know, Leo, you're used to having what you want. You're used to being bold. And with this woman, you know, she, somehow you don't, you don't feel that energy, but you're used to being bold. And this woman, you know, you have to work for. So it causes you some type of, um, uh, it's, it's, I hate to say bad dreams, but it just causes you some type of inconsistency in your life because all you do is think about it, be about her. That's it. And that nine of swords, source energy is mental energy. And you're just worried about how I'm going to get her and how I'm going to keep her, how I'm going to get her and how am I going to keep her? That is what you're worried about. And you know, it's going to take work. She intimidates you. So let's see why the three of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the three of pentacles here? Show me spirit guys. Well, I pulled the page of swords again. Man, when you pull the same card in the read, that means the spirit guys are saying that I am telling you exactly what you want to know. And they want me to reiterate this. You've got to communicate with her. You've got to communicate with her. Page of swords is about communication. You know, you're looking at her uh, page of swords. She doesn't know. She doesn't know you feel this way about it because you've not made the moves. You've been into, you've not made the moves because you're intimidated. But here's that three of pentacles, that page of swords. In order for you to get the teamwork and make the dream work and be with someone for a lifetime. You got to tell them you got to, you can't feel intimidated. Even if you feel intimidated, you got to move forward anyway. You've got to move forward. You've got to let her know. So let's see why this high priestess is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the high priestess here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the high priestess here? Look at that strength card. That's your card, Leo. Strength card represents the Leo sun sign. It's all about you, Leo. You got to make it happen, Leo. Strength card is trying to be, get her, have her understand, make her understand that you feel this way about her. Um, and you've got to make the moves. You've got to make the moves if you want the woman. You've got to make the moves if you want the woman. This is an unlimited potential. She's feminine. She is unlimited potential with her. She, you know that you can grow with her. You've got to make the moves, though. So let's start the beginning to a source. Here, you're, you're, you're intimidated by someone you, because you can't get the words out. When you see her, it's, you're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed with emotion and feeling. Because here's this two of cups. You see everything with her. Unity, love, togetherness, 
uh, everything. And it's almost like I said, love at first sight. And I'll say that again. But, you know, Page of Swords is here too. It's just communication. You're intimidated. You're not communicating with this woman. And here's the hermit card because you're trying to figure out how do I communicate with her. She's different. She's not like what you've had in the past. She's different. She's a whole new different level for you. She is actually the level that you want. Here's the eight of pentacles. You know that there's, you could have met this woman at work, but more importantly, this eight of pentacles lets me know it's going to take work to get her as well as to keep her because she don't put up with any riffraff. She's not going to take anything. You can't get over on her. You've got to come correct. That nine of swords is there because you're intimidated. You're, you're afraid. How do I do this? Will this not work to my benefit? But the problem is, I don't say it's a problem, but the thing is, is that with this swords energy, she's on your mind all the time. She's on, she's on your mind all the time. You want to build with this woman because here's the three of pentacles teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, but here's the page of swords. You've got to communicate. You've got to step to her. You've got to get your nerve up and move forward with this woman. Now, I see the strength card, which is your card, represents the Leo sun sign. And it's over the high priestess. And that strength card is all about trying to get someone to be on the same page with you. Trying to get someone to understand that you love them. Try, and, and I do believe this is love at first sight, but I think it's even deeper than that. I think you see things in her. You're looking at her from afar. Um, and I think you see things in her. And she doesn't even know. She's like your secret. She's like your secret. You know, the high priestess can't be the secret of the woman. And I strongly believe she's like your secret love, that, but she doesn't know yet. A secret love, and she doesn't even know yet. But I think you're in love with her without even, you know, <laughs> you know, this is a deep love. I'm, I don't even know how to say it. It's just you're falling in love with someone, and you have not even had a relationship with them yet. But you've been watching her from afar. But you feel like it's unlimited potential. She's, you know, she's top shelf. You feel like she's the woman for you. So give me three. To, let, me, let me see what my oracles have to say to you. Show me what my oracles have to say to you about this relationship or this relationship that you want. Ooh, coming out first. This is straight for you, Leo. Romance, romance. You're good at that. You're good at that. And romance. Oh, next card out is it's up to you. You have to make the moves. And I'll say that again. You have to make the moves. Next card is meditation brings answers. Pray about it. Like I said, this is that hermit card. Um, pray about it. You know, meditate. Whatever you do to get your to get your answers. Here's the other card. It's just coming out. It's just what a great reading. If you believe, and it's just saying step to her. If you believe, it is going to be. It is going to be. I've never pulled this card, and I'm pulling it out. Perfect timing. I think the timing is right. Um, it's saying be assertive. Go for it. Go for it, Leo. Go for it. Go for it. Take action. Remain positive. And that's what I have for you, Leo, for your love prediction reading.